let's talk about tactical shotguns. Now that I have your attention, I'm gonna talk about three different styles of tactical shotgun. But before we get into that, we have a gun giveaway going on right now. It's free to enter and it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description below to reveal which brand new gun you could win. Now, here we are talking about tactical shotguns. The cool thing about this right here is these three guns are basically the same gun. The action is that of the Mossberg Model 500, and we're talking about what you might want to do with your self-defense or home defense tactical, because that's the word that gets everyone's attention, shotgun. Now a shotgun is a very effective tool for self-defense. And how you want to equip your tactical shotgun, your self-defense shotgun, is completely up to you. And I'm just showing you a little bit of what we got going on here. Starting at what we'll call stubby, this is the Mossberg Shockwave. It's basically a Mossberg Model 500 action with some modifications. This is completely legal. It is not a sawed off shotgun. It is, you don't have to have any permits for it. It functions two and three quarter inch and three inch shells. I've shot this at several different schools. Works very well, very good close range weapon. Can also be used as an impact weapon if you need to. Understand, it looks a little bit like a club. So if you need to, you can use it like a club. The, what I'm calling a standard Mossberg defensive shotgun. This is the Mossberg 500 with a standard length magazine tube and a standard length barrel with rifle sights on it. Great for shooting shotgun slugs, buckshot, or if you decide you wanna use birdshot, you can utilize that. Debate about that in the, in the comments section. I'm not gonna get into that. We're talking about what you can do with your shotgun. What we've done with this one is put an aftermarket safety on to make sure that the safety is much easier to engage. Um, there's a little lip on the top so we can engage that safety. The rest of it, you know, sling swivel so we can put a sling on and this gun is ready to go. You could, if you wanted to, use it for deer hunting. It has the rifle sights, you can shoot slugs with it, but it's a good solid defensive shotgun and it's not gonna have any of the big, scary, Joe Biden hates these aftermarket parts. This, also a Mossberg Model 500. This one has the ATI collapsible stock which really isn't for transport or anything like that. It just makes the gun fit different sized people better. Six position, collapsible stock. A pistol grip, which doesn't make the gun any more dangerous, just makes it a little bit easier to control and helps you absorb some of the recoil. And yes, using full power buckshot or slug loads can be pretty stout. We have a four end, polymer four end, with some grooves on if you wanted to add Picatinny rail pieces up here. I had them on, I didn't really like them because my fingers kept hitting against them. So I mounted Picatinny rail pieces for a light or laser right up at the end of the magazine too. The heat shield on the barrel, I've never really shot this shotgun so often that I needed to have a heat shield, but it holds the ghost ring sights really, really well. Puts them right on there so that I can quickly get on target with a little bit better sighting system. Now, when we're talking about using a defensive shotgun, everything that is different about these guns is simply cosmetic. The shotguns all function the same way, slide or pump action shotgun. You load them through the bottom, you pump the round into the chamber, you fire, you use it to repeat, <laughs> rinse and repeat. One of the only things that makes the shockwave different is the size. It's much easier to use inside a house because it's not as long as the other guns, but it's also not as accurate when you're shooting it. When you shoot something that is shoulder mounted, you put it up to your shoulder, now you have three points of contact, you can aim it better. And let me tell you, you must aim when you're using a shotgun. Don't fall into this idea that, oh, I've got a shotgun, so the, the pattern is gonna spread out and I'll just be able to sweep down the hallway with it. Not true especially at home defense distances, the spread of a shotgun pattern is not going to open up very much. If you're using buckshot, you might get an eight inch pattern across a room, maybe. You're not going to have this big spread where you can just 
spray and pray and you don't have to aim. You have to aim and you have to shoot effectively. And if you're going to choose a shotgun for self-defense, make sure that you practice with it so you know how to reload it. There's only six or eight rounds in a shotgun, five, six, or eight, depending on the brand of shotgun you get and the length of magazine tube. So you might go through those eight rounds and have to reload that shotgun. And one more thing that I want to talk to you about, do not decide that just this is always going to scare away your burglar. Okay, yeah, the sound of a shotgun being racked really does get people's attention. Got your attention at the beginning here. But if you're going to use any gun for self-defense or for home defense, make sure that you are ready, willing, and able, trained properly, you understand how that gun works, and you understand the capabilities of the gun and your capabilities with it. This is all just accoutrement. These are all just decorations on these guns. The guns work substantially the same. You decide what you want for your gun. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. A quick reminder, again, we have this gun giveaway going on. It ends really soon. All you have to do is click the link below and reveal which brand new gun you can win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.